Hello virtual DJ users. Here's something I found that was a bit annoying, uh, but I did find out a remedy. You've got virtual DJ, uh, and you can see I've got all the data. Um, I've got the key, everything's analyzed. I've got a star rating. And uh, yeah, they're all like that. Now, I've got my backup hard drive plugged in, which is partitioned into three things there for backup. I'm doing a time machine backup at the moment, but I've also got manual storage. Um, I've got on here, I just drag in things on my computer I just want to store, might be able to drag onto other USB sticks or hard drives, and I've got the virtual DJ folder there. So if I'm going to do a backup, sometimes, sometimes I will manually take the virtual DJ folder which is there and I will copy it across into my manual storage yeah there we go so that is now do you want to merge or replace it I'll merge it So we'll wait for this to analyze. And if I open Virtual DJ, in fact, let me close Virtual DJ and reopen it. You'll see we're still all okay. But look what happens. Let me shut that down. Look what happens when I eject this, the, the external hard drive. I'm still waiting on the backup to finish. So we're gonna come back. So we're gonna come back when the backups are done and uh, we can see what happens when I eject these. Okay, so Time Machine has finished. And like I say, I've manually dragged the Virtual DJ folder from my computer onto this external hard drive. So it's time to eject all these. Oh, and let me show, if I didn't before, Virtual DJ at the moment is fine. There you go. Any, uh, any tracks or anything like that. They've got all my data, key, so they've all been analyzed, I've got my star rating and all that. Um, let's get rid of that, a bit bigger. Um, so, let's see what happens. Let's close Virtual DJ. Let's eject the external hard drives. There you go, and now I'm going to physically unplug the external hard drive. Okay, now let's relaunch Virtual DJ. And here we go. Every single song that are there all the data is gone, the rating is gone, and everything. And it's all saying their new songs. That's very worrying when you first see it. So, what I found out it was doing for some reason, Virtual DJ is reading all this information off of the external hard drive rather than reading it off of the XML file that's in the Virtual DJ folder within within the computer. So what I have to do, so I have to go back, let me open that. Uh, if I go to documents, I go to, there's Virtual DJ, and this is the database. This is the, this is the one that is the problem. I think it's either that one or that one. I can't remember, but I think it's that one. So what you need to do is you need to open your external hard drive, go to Virtual DJ, database, copy, delete the one on computer, and then in Virtual DJ, 
you want to paste, sorry, paste the database from your backup folder. Then you close everything down, eject this again. Unplug your external hard drive, then when you relaunch, there you go, everything back again. So that's the way to get out of the problem if it happens. That's what happens if you drag it across. The way to avoid it happening is if you're going to do a manual backup, um, go to your virtual DJ folder. This time, instead of dragging it, virtual DJ, into your menu storage, copy. Copy. Get it in there. Paste. Merge it because I've already done a backup there, so. There you go, that has done that. Then by copying it, if I again eject all this, physically unplug my computer, and that's all still there. All your tracks are where you want them to be. I hope uh, that helps some of you. If anyone's had this issue, um, let me know in the comments. Take it easy.